Hi everyone, I'm Katina McHenry, Communications Director here at the Macomb School of Business, and we are trying something new. Now you're accustomed to receiving a monthly e-newsletter from Jay Hartzell. We know how busy you are and the enormous amount of emails you must receive every month. So this time, we will convert that e-newsletter into a video Q&A. Now, it'll be a chance for Jay to talk about all of his efforts, his projects, and many things that he's looking forward to. So much of the content that he will write about, you will now be able to experience in a video Q&A. Welcome, Jay. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Yeah, so let's get right to it. Let's talk about the Texas Edge event in Chicago. Tell me about that and how that went. Yeah, it was great. Uh, UT has been doing these Texas Edge events at, in major cities around the world and they picked Chicago for this recent event, and we were fortunate to be able to have the Macomb School highlighted there. And that's the home of Phil and Mary Beth Canfield, who named our business honors program. So it was partly a thank you, but it was also a way to just use the Canfield Honors Program and Macomb's as a lens into all the great things going on on campus. Yeah. And we had, I think, about 130 people that's come, which is, which is awesome. Yeah. Well, Macomb is branching out all over the country. We have efforts in, in the Bay Area as well. So Chicago, Bay Area, tell me about our efforts in the Bay Area. Yeah, the Bay Area feels like it's really picking up a lot of momentum. And you know, the, it's the second biggest market outside of the state for us, outside of New York and yeah. in the Bay. Uh, so what we've been doing there is getting our alumni organized, and that's gone well. And now the latest thing is Josh Alexander, who's a faculty member in our finance department, is going to uh, start a program there titled something like Business Technology Fellows to let students apply and get in and then have some way to get prepared for the technology sector broadly and especially if they want to go to the Bay Area. Yeah. We're adding a lot of programs too, which is great, meeting the needs of the market as well as what students are interested in. One of the new programs or newer programs is the healthcare, a Master of Science in Healthcare Transformation. So tell right. me about that and how that's different from what we already have in place. Right, that's another, another great example of some innovation for us. And as everybody knows, UT has made a big investment into healthcare through the Dell Medical School. Mm -hmm. And on the Macomb side, uh, we have partnered in a joint venture with them over what we're calling the Value Institute. And it's really central to what Del Med wants to do, which is how can we change the way that healthcare is done? Mm -hmm. uh, away from, for example, fee for service and more toward worrying about patient outcomes and, and thinking about the value of health services delivered, not just making sure we do more operations. Yeah. So to get there, uh, we have combined with Del Med to, to launch this master's degree. And the Value Institute is the engine behind the curriculum and the content. And we're going to launch it this, this fall. And so far, it looks great. I think we'll have a great first cohort. There will be everything from some medical school students who are taking time to do this degree uh, to people from, the, you know, from hospitals, from the industry, uh, insurance sector. Uh, but it should be a really fantastic program. That's awesome. Do you have interest in it so far? Yeah, it looks great. I, I think we'll end up, honestly, above expectations for the first cohort. It takes a while to get kind of that momentum built as far as the reputation in the market, sure. but it's, it's exceeded our early hopes for the way it was going to start. That's awesome. Now we're in the midst of graduation, which is really exciting for hundreds of students throughout Macomb. So you will be shaking a lot of hands. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> What's your favorite part of Convince Me? Yeah, I think it's funny because I, I probably should be doing hand exercises as, as we talk now. <laughs> uh, you know, to me, it's, it's experiencing the, the, the joy that you see in the graduates and their families' eyes. We get used to it because every year we go through this process, yeah. um, and it's sort of part of our normal cadence, and I, I have always enjoyed that, but it hit me as dean when I was in the Irwin Center watching the undergraduates finish, and I think we have something like 7,000 people there yeah. to watch eight or 900 graduate. Yeah. So you think about it, that means the, the typical graduate on average has six, seven people watching him or her yeah. walk, and it's for them, it's such a huge moment. So. I enjoy just being there and getting to look at the joy in the room yeah. and getting to see the, the excitement over see, seeing somebody finish and, and accomplish this really important achievement. Yeah. I don't know why I always get emotional when I hear pop and circumstance. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just, it's yeah. so exciting to yeah. see them take what they've learned and go into the next phase of life and apply, you know, apply it into life in the next phase of yeah. life. That's really cool. I'll put Kleenex in my pocket in case I have to dab a little. I'll, I'll try to make it look like I'm blowing my nose, but just right. in case I've got, I've got it there in case I tear up. Oh my gosh. 
That'll be a sight to see, the Dean getting misty. <laughs> the Dean getting misty. Yeah, yeah it, it happens. It's, you know, sappy movies and graduation. Yeah, so. how funny. Well, this is our very first Q&A. We'll, we'll continue to do things over the next several months. We may be taking questions from you guys, the faculty and staff. So thank you for joining us this time. We will see you next time on the Q&A with Jay. Thank you.